Hello everyone, welcome here sa ating munting kusina. Welcome here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. It is lunchtime, so I'm going to cook lunch for my family. And so, come join with me today. It's Monday, so it's busy day. And uh, let's do the cooking. Okay, so here I prepared in my cooking pot. I love this cooking pot. Very multi-purpose type of cooking pot. <laughs> okay, so I am going to add extra virgin olive oil. But friends, not necessarily that you are going to use this type of oil because to some of you, it can be very pricey and not very accessible and and just use the regular oil that you're used to or accustomed in sauteing. Okay, there you go. So approximately uh, four tablespoons, but not necessarily. If I am just adding this one so to moisten our uh, dish. What are the very basic ingredients? So I use lots and lots of pounded garlic, one head of gar. I mean lots and lots of pounded ginger one head of pounded garlic um, large white cooking onions uh, one large tomato vine and also this um, uh, four stalks of white this is a part of the cooking onions which is the sibuyas dahon or the white part and so i just use four four stalks and then there you go. So what we will do is we are going to add this all together wonderfully. So the spices, you can also try to lesser your spices or lessen your spices. For me, I like to have lots and lots of spices to make it tasty. So add everything all at once. Remember friends cooking and baking they're always make fun and easy here at our little kitchen It also gives you the idea on what to prepare for your family's next meal My simple goal in my kitchen is simply for fun sharing and learning. There you go friends We are going to add our grounded black pepper if you don't have grounded black pepper you can use um white pepper of course it doesn't really matter and so for our savoring enhancers we are going to add some patties or fish sauce first adding salt and pepper or any savoring enhancers it depends upon your taste buds if you don't have patties or fish sauce um, just use salt and pepper it's the natural way of adding savorful ingredients okay so the patties and this um, powdered chicken broth will be added uh, together so there you go just a little bit because we added patties already so simply mix it mix it mix it and at the same time after one minute in the process of uh, sauteing our spices we're going to add our chicken uh, chicken drumsticks so there this is one kilo and i wash it thoroughly in running cold water take out its slimy part okay so that it will not become a langsa or pungent smell so there you go we are going to uh, mix that one I made a slip here friends so that uh, the flavor of our spices and the saving enhancers will all together absorb in inside the chicken <laughs> inside the chicken <laughs> okay so mix it adding pepper I might add some pepper it depends because I like also um, black pepper but, but it's not so much friends um this is the way i cook remember different cooks different dads and moms they have their very own way of doing but the simple goal is we're going to eat pinulang manok or chicken soup 
I am to cover this one. Takpan po natin. Set this aside maybe for two minutes. Great and wonderful friends. I am preparing, getting this ready. Hot water that I'm going to add this into our dish to hasten the cooking. I always prepare boiling hot water from this electric kettle. So after maybe one or two minutes, I'm going to add boiling hot water. Adding water or liquids, it depends upon your own discretion, friends. I'm looking for my ladle or luwag so simply mix it now friends uh, this is what we call tinulang chicken or tinulang manok so depending upon uh, the type of vegetables you will be adding and also if you are going to add some uh, some palok or you know that um for sinigang you can also do that but actually i decided not to add those uh, type of seasoning right now i will just be adding a little bit more of water because this is a huge uh, amount of a dish this is one kilo so let it continue simmer or you can boil or simmer whichever way you want but I'm going to taklob it or cover it with my taklob or lid. Set this aside for another uh, three or four more minutes until the chicken is at least 80% cooked. We don't want to undercook our meat. Great and wonderful friends, you can add some of your favorite green beans or what else? Um, green green peppers red peppers whatever uh, veggies you have but i have here my chayote so i slice it cubes big portion and i don't want to slice it small <laughs> and then the part of the uh the green onions or the scallion or the sibuyas dahon this is the green part i am going to add this because these are leafy ones so i will add this all together towards the end once our uh, the sayote is soft and tender but not overly overly cooked i want it a little bit crunchy so at this point because for me i don't really taste it i can only tanchar tanchar <laughs> i like to eyeball my uh the way i cook especially for adding salt and pepper or any savoring enhancers uh, i like to um, do it in an approximate basis or eyeballing all my ingredients and the rest of the savory enhancer but for you if you're not used to eyeball your or you you're fond of measuring um doing it or properly measuring in a concise manner so it's up to you but this is the time that you are going to taste <laughs> okay there you go French, if you want, you can also try to subscribe at my YouTube channel at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. You will love it. There's a lot of simple recipes and it's fun. <laughs> try to check my um, YouTube channel and I posted a lot of videos in both of my cookings and bakings okay there you go i meant to make sure that my rice is ready now for this rice this will serve us a uh, balloon or baon for my husband's uh, food to work and this one is for our uh, lunch today friends whenever i cook i always try uh, cook food i always ask my husband choices 
Oh, good for him. <laughs> He's lucky. He's so fortunate that I always give him choices of food. And so I let him choose with what kind of uh, food you, would you like. Would you like some tofu and some veggies, stuff like that. But he decided to have this chicken. Same as whenever I prepare his lunch or food for work, I always try to give him option options. What kind of... Uh, uh, fruits he wants um, to have so I asked him would you like some bananas some apples or this sweet mangoes or blueberries he said I like to have uh, sweet mangoes okay so and he will have this boiled peanuts also very very nice I love these peanuts okay and for our lunch today we're going to have this as our appetizer and so we are going to have some fruits also or sweet mangoes aside from his lunch that he decided to have so i'm going to have uh the this uh, sweet mangoes for dessert friends getting to know your cook <laughs> like myself la arni so i'm just showing you so this is my husband's uh, baonan or lunch bag and his name is yuli yuli says he works at the units two six same as lloyd they work together as has i mean as <laughs> as father and son so this is lloyd's baonan to work or lunch bag sharing sharing lang no ang ating goal dito sa ating munting kusina kung sino talaga ang inyong cook dahil i don't I'm just showing you how it works here and besides I'm the videographer <laughs> at the same time I hold my old cell phone camera using my left hand and of course my hard working right hand it maneuvers or do all the movements in cooking <laughs> because I don't really I don't really show my face live. I hate to show my face uh, whenever I, I take a video. I take videos, so <laughs> I'm just showing you. Sometimes at the end of my um, picture, I mean my videos, I like to post the pictures of my husband and myself and Lloyd. Oh, I love to share this wonderful, um, very healthy part of basil so i'm going fresh i bought this from superstore nine dollars not for this one so so i'm going to cook some chicken for my son lloyd having this pasta pesto pasta using uh, this fresh herbs or basil i love herbs and this is one of my many favorite plant or the um how do you call this one greens i should say Okay, it's about time we're going to add our chayote. But first, we're going to check and mix it. Make sure the chicken is cooked and there's no blood. <laughs> okay, there you go, friends. Time to add our chayote. Of course, my hands are clean. <laughs> okay, there you go. Our veggies or the chayote has been added. Then simply give a good uh, mix. And when you cook, cook it with love. Even or no matter how simple your cookings will be. Even if your veggies are simple yet deli delicious or health, I should say healthy. But when you cook it with love and your family will enjoy the food. <laughs> It doesn't need to be expensive, you know, the food that you want to make. It's, you can always, whatever food or ingredients or ricardis that you can always access, then just cook it with love. Because I love my family. There's only three of us, but we love each other's company. So when I cook, I make sure that there's love within it. Okay, friends, let's check and we're going to add our last but not the least is our Chinese Napa cabbage together with that part of the green onions. Okay, there you go. 
mix it slowly and slowly but surely and we will add everything i love to add lots and lots of greens i love uh, veggies friends and by the way i miss the ve type of ve tropical vegetables in my hometown or in my place in the philippines i <laughs> but okay there you go and then mix it mix it just dredge the greens into that soup and then mix it slowly slowly but surely okay there you go once again wonderful friends i would like to thank you very much for watching la arnie's uh, kitchen and food creations till the next time so we have to turn this off we don't want that our uh, greens our napa cabbage will be overly cooked i want it a little bit crunchy okay so there you go friends Thank you.